angels so i want to show you mine and leon's new denki robot vacuum now if you want to know about the sticker on her i put that there myself but yeah and we have given her a nickname we say it's her obviously it's an animated object it doesn't actually have well it's correction it doesn't actually have a name or anything the remote control actually goes here so i'm just going to show you so this is her charging right now like i said i put the sticker on her i'm actually getting a second one for upstairs to make it easier so i'm going to quickly go through her options here so i this is to set a schedule for her so i've set a schedule for 7 a.m this is change the time Autos to get her to go and just clean. That's the home button to get her to go to her dock. Uh, this will get her to do a targeted area. You can get her to do edges, a room and max power. Um, so yeah. And you can use these controls to get her to where, where you want to take her. And you can press play. So what I'm going to do <laughs> is I'm going to show you. Like I said, I'm getting the second one for upstairs because I will find that easier. So I'm going to click auto. Auto. And then I'm actually going to try and get her to go the way I want her to. She does actually get unstuck quite easily if she gets stuck which is a good. So I'm going to take her into our kitchen here to show you her things she can do. So I'm going to get her to do clean the area. So this is the surrounding area what she's close to. And as you can see it says on the screen you click that button now I'm going to get her to do edging, so she's going to find an edge and follow it. I don't want her to go that way, so I'm going to turn her to go that way instead. And now she's going to follow the edge all the way around. And that's what that does. And then if you want her just to do the room, this room only, Bearing in mind, I would probably close the door to do this, but yeah. So she's just going around cleaning the room now. And then you can click max and she'll speed up, use a lot of her power. So I'm going to go back to auto. And the one thing I really like about these robot vacuums is one, they can basically, they can be hands free. Uh, I just use, like, I'm only showing you this right now with her, but if, and as you can hear, volume change, really good on carpet and hard floor, um, struggles with picking up bigger pieces, but as you just saw, she picked up that little bit of fur, because we have a long haired cat. Um, one good thing about her... I just turned it around then. Is that I'm bringing her to me a minute. Well, actually, you can see her senses on the camera. So you can't see these in real life, these pink dots, but those are her senses, which is really cool. Um, one thing about these robot vacuums that's really cool is when they are losing charge, like they last for two hours, these ones. And when they are, um, what's the word? When they are nearly dead, they will take themselves back to the dock and charge. But you also have the button to be able to tell them to go home. So that is what I've just asked her to do. I know robots aren't gendered, but it's what me and my fiance decided to do. And when she gets there, she says she's charging. 
So this means she's fully charged and I shall show you how to get to her bin. So this is her bin and filter space. So I don't think I can open this again, but I did open it earlier. This is basically, oh, I can. This is where the filter is. So that's what that little bit is right there. And then you can look in here and see how full she is. As you can see, she's been picking up quite a lot of things. So I'm gonna empty her out. I have to empty her out a lot more than um, some people do. Hang on a minute, I'll be right back. Um, due to having a long-haired cat, as you can see, um, they do get fur, she does get fur and stuff caught in here. However, they're quite easy to take out and the company gives you, um, ignore the stickers, I put them in there. Um, the company gives you an extra filter and some extra um, brushes and they also give you, they don't give you this bag, that's just me, I prefer to give them all in a bag. They give you a cleaning tool for them. This works really well with cleaning the, um, the filter out and things like that. Plus this little bit right here is really good at pulling the hair out of the vacuum. So yeah. Honestly I really like these hence why I'm getting another one. And these are the brushes they use. Um, these can be taken out and placed. This is a sensor for her dog. I have turned her off so she can't react while I'm doing this. You are given a contact email from the company. List of stuff to do. They make sure you insult the, <laughs> insert the filter this way up. Um, and... They have some troubleshooting indications here on this side, so that is really cool and really well sought off. So yeah, all in all, and this one was rated 4.5, 4.5 out of 5 stars on Amazon, so I got it, and like I said, I bought a secondary one upstairs just so me and Leon are not carrying this one up and down the stairs all the time. So yeah I'm gonna clean her out and I should talk to you later. I forgot to mention that this is the Dinky DK600 vacuum cleaner so yeah that's what it is. I will put the link in the description below to the listing that I got so yeah. These can fit under um, couches that are not like mine, uh, or sofas that are not mine, like mine. If they are more open at the bottom, they can fit under them. And they also have, uh, oh, and the company gives you batteries for this remote. It takes two AAA batteries, and yeah. Uh, it's relatively easy to clean. It's we've had this for a day now and we're loving it. Um, it comes with its dock and charging. Again, I put a sticker on it. Ignore me. <laughs> Same for that. It's a sticker. Don't worry about it. Um, and they're also good at fall prevention. And yeah. that is the Denki, what it's called again, DK600 vacuum cleaner.